Hello everyone, this is Yellow Toy. As you can tell, Designer Con 27 is getting bigger and suddenly there's a huge line and it goes around the block. It goes around the Sheraton Hotel early in the morning. This was 10 a.m. and I'm still in line. As you can tell, it goes around the block. And the, again, you can even purchase the the ID tags in there for $10 so it won't be surprised so now I'm just getting closer but as you can tell this is the other side of the line and <laughs> it's a long line and designer con is getting bigger getting bigger and now I'm finally in now I have to get my ID tags because I bought my tickets online so we get to see first up the blown up Do uh, Dunny by Kid Robot so that was great and this is what it looks like there's the author Josh Mayhem so here we are in the entrance of designer con inside the convention we get to see some Paul Kaiju style or Sofu Sofubi style art toy right here it's absolutely great then we have Ron English right there with the trickster for kids rabbit this is the raw English boot propaganda. We get the Lady Liberty style art toy right there. So there's the Donald Trump toy in the red, and we get to see some raw English merchandise. And there is the Ronald McDonald's in different colorway. And so that was absolutely great. And Ron English has a pretty big boot. Now here we are. Welcome to Decon entering. After waiting an hour, Ballroom D, to finally get in, here we are. Can't wait to start. Now I wonder which boot am I going to go. Wh whichever. I'm just going to go at it. And so, let's see. So I went to Linda Panda first. So she I was actually doing some autographs in Kid Robot. This is her artwork. So I went around because, again, there's so many people. There's the exclusive Panda right there. It was also being sold at Kid Robot. She was also doing autographs for that. So she was one of the more artists that was got it going on. And again, Good Smile Company, I get to see them again. Always a lot of people in their boot. But then again, they always have great pieces in their boot. Sorry about that because again, there's a lot of people this time around. It's getting crazier and crazier. And so here we are exploding kittens. They got some exclusives, they got some little pieces, bits here and there, and look at that, for fans and by fans. They had actually great pieces, that one on the glass uh, case right there, it was a robotic piece, and like I said, I couldn't, I tried to get my best shot, but a lot of people were there, and so do you hear some artwork? And here I am moving on to another boot. That's absolutely great. As you can tell, a lot of artwork and a lot of people. There's an exclusive right there, the Pickle Plush. That's the Lobster Pop right there. And here is another boot that was got it going on. They have a very long name. I couldn't even remember. Actually, there was a couple boots in that boot. <laughs> it's a boot within a boot. You get what I mean? So, but at the same time, they were they had some great pieces. And so I tried to focus with this camera. So it was more of a uh, sculpture type art that they did. And here we are. We are, are at Colus. They got the Black Raven uh, toy here, which was exclusive. It was also being sold at Kid Robot. And there it is, there is the Black Raven. Now, Kid Robot is also selling this black and also the White Raven one. But I wasn't too fond of this. When I first saw the release, I was like, eh, it's alright. So, moving on to the next boot. We got Sadie Luca. I, again, a lot of people, but they were mostly handbags that she was selling. I'm sure a lot of ladies were into that. And there were a lot of ladies in Designer Con. So here we are, Brett's Art World. And a lot of prints, a lot of art in Decon 2017 compared to previous years. Used to be plushy where the 
main focus you can tell and then we got Cody Brosh this dude is intense man I'm telling you they got some t-shirts they got some art they got L, L style boot they got some great stuff I was appreciating their work here we are at sugar, sugar fueled got some stickers got some prints that's all it was actually and then moving on to the next boot right here just checking some things out that was actually a nice uh, model right there for an art gallery and here are some artwork again they got some great stuff here sugar fueled again they got a big boot this time and then moving on we got Jay Gatsby design mostly artwork a little bit of toys here and there got some items and then I don't even remember that boot <laughs> honestly and here we are checking some other boot out I forgot this guy's name but his his work oh Alex Ahad there we go he got some great stuff and then that was an exclusive toy right there more artwork oh these are absolutely uh, coasters right here there was some nice work right there by Mike Boston art those were not just ordinary coasters those I, I forgot how he processed but he told me that it took a while too and here I'm trying to get focus fearsome beast and picture frames of different type of art reminds you of a Christmas story by um, Christmas story art I forgot what's the director's name and in here we have another boot right here checking out some great stuff some artwork and man look at that tree in the clouds and also the grass and I appreciate little things like that it's really fun okay okay this guy's artwork is absolutely amazing I was thinking of buying it but the way the the picture the artwork are are not in the correct picture frame size so you would have to get a custom picture frame size and I wasn't gonna go look for one but Wonder Woman Astro Boy I mean you got some great stuff and then we got just scope right here I bought that Bruce Lee right there and it was only $15 maybe I should have brought the other Bruce Lee got some great artwork here Wow, I might have to buy some more from him. And here's another cutely cute artwork right here with different pop culture by Martin Shu. They got the Uombo exclusives right there on the rotating turnstiles. And that's a big artwork right there. Again, a lot of people at this time. Oh, there it is. There's the plush right there by Martin Shu. A lot of people know that. The Lion. Beefy and Co. I bought that big Buddha from him I think last year I can't remember but in any case here they are again and uh, brown one actually sold out when I came back to his boot because this round right here I was just recording videos that's all I was doing checking out stuff oh man this boot right here got it going on squid kids inspired by the Nintendo cartridges man I was just in awe by their boot from gold to silver from different artwork from different pieces from different items from the shirts I mean it was just a nice boot and galley to see and then we got a little small company here but it was actually cute you you know what I was actually thinking of buying one of these I don't know what held me back but I, I was I was in the boot three times and I kept staring at it and for some reason I just couldn't get myself to buy into it super seven but they were mostly s selling shirts oh man again a lot of people I, I try to get in there but you got the figures right there but they, were, they had a lot more shirts than figures and I was surprised but as usual with super seven they got it going on and those are the two main focal points the aliens Yoshi she's a girl and I'm telling you, this girl's talented. You need to check her out. She does a lot of pinups, but I'm not gonna lie. There's some great stuff right there. And oh man, here we go. Here we go. This boot right here had Jack Rama had small models from Lion King, from Star Wars. 
from different movie sets. It was a great display of types of different movies. The Dark Knight right there, The Dark Knight Returns. I can go on and on about this boot. And then here we have Zard Apuya. Got some little pieces, mostly toys. Got some great pieces actually, custom toys right here. I was absolutely amazed. I was there for a bit of, uh, I think five minutes just to check out his stuff. And that was absolutely amazing. It was actually a dual boot, Zard Apuya and One-Eyed Girl. And right here, Kehasu. Every time I go to this boot, I always ask him, hey, do you have a Vegeta? They said no. And this is the Cuphead 1920s and 30s style right here. It's becoming a trend. Great stuff here. I was thinking of buying one by Frank Forte, but you know what? I couldn't buy anything that was colorful. It was just too monotone. Bob's Burger right here. Check it out, people. He was there selling merchandises. It was a dual boot, but you know what? You're gonna see more Bob Burgers, uh, Bob Burgers later. And I was absolutely surprised. And Lollygag, there's no exception to this. Always in Designer Con, they used to be little, and now they're getting bigger. Shout outs to them. Shout outs to their hustle. Moving on, Happy Pantry. You know, something cute for all the ladies, some for the kids too. If you're into the cupcake colorful style, not gonna lie, if you're into that, you gotta get it. There's the plush right there. Oh, uh, Jupy, I was w buying one of, I was thinking of buying one of his figures, but I don't know what held me back. And this guy has a bigger boot now. And look at those figures. I was thinking of buying the green one, but something held me back. I don't know what it is. Maybe I need to go buy it next time when I see him. Okay, okay. This is one of the exclusive right here. Air Jordan style. You know what it is. And you got the Air Jordan 5 right there. Figures. Tracy Tubera. Exclusive. All four of them. Absolutely amazing. Here we have another boot. If you're into the horrors type style toys, here they are. The King Nuggets right there. Those are the exclusive. He just grabbed and they were absolutely amazing. Kawaii Till You Die, that's the boot right there. And then that's another hallway right there. And so just so you know, that's how big it is. And here we have Monkey King. Kano was there and there's another Joe uh, Le uh, Ledbetter, I think. That's how you pronounce it. Luke Shue, exclusive with Monkey King. And there it is, the Colin Kaepernick sitting on his knees. That's the new exclusive one by Kano Kid. This is unbearable. There he is, the mastermind himself, Luke Shue. And he was doing autographs, he was selling stuff. And here I am. Oh, you see that figure right there, the head? I was absolutely amazed. I was thinking of buying it, but it's, I don't know. Something held me back, I guess. A lot of things were holding me back. Here we have Stipple Pop. I like their boot. Very organized, very garage style. But again, they have some great stuff. That's what I'm saying. They, they had some great boots right there. And this boot, Steve Ferreira, as usual, making a grand boot. Absolutely amazing. I felt like I was in the art gallery, but mostly toys. Very, very amazing. I mean, it is the centerpiece of it all. Is this, I don't know what you call it, antlers, deer, humanoid, but it certainly gives you a certain emotions to it. And here I am entering the next hallway. And that's how I'll tell you, Decon is getting bigger and bigger. And here we are in Kid Robot. It wouldn't be designer con without Kid Robot. It all started with them. As you can tell, there's the Raven, there's the Bear, there's the exclusive Wonder Woman, and they have a big boot, very big boot. Here we have the Dunnies, the Robot Dunnies, other types of Dunnies as usual. And here we have, a, oh man, you know, this is classic right here. I love this style right here. I have a, I own a couple pieces with them, or with him actually. 
a lot of fans always love this right here and so just mesmerizing the effects I can't believe how everything is so clear with it Circus Posterous that's the name of the game people and here we have blind boxes they're usually with kid robot actually across from them and with broke piggy they are they were actually selling the shard dunny which these are called and these are the exclusive right here there's the magma dunny see shard show that was the point and that little girl is actually <laughs> is the customer rep right there customer service but you know get your side hustle that ride right there i wanted it but it cost 185 dollars and there's a paul kaiju i took pictures of this i even did instagram absolutely amazing and they were rap, uh doing a raffle on that one absolutely amazing paul kaiju always gets it down always on point with the boot with the toy i mean what can i say about paul kaiju one of these days i am going to buy a paul kaiju's toy and here we have another boot right here selling kid robots from uh, Joe Ledleber and other designers right here 3D Retro they always know how to do a boot they always I'll put a lot of things in glass cases and here I have some blind boxes from kid robots right here Alex man I love the fat Ninja Turtles and all they were also selling books right here but you know the main uh, the main focal point of this boot here we have some prints you're gonna see right here more toys mr burns and donald trump the joker as mcdonald's ronald mcdonald and here we have the marshmallow man that you saw that was great so fatal getting bigger and bigger i can tell you that that is not the sketch or the not the drawer the girl is actually the sketcher she's actually the artist but she's not there oh pirate right here i was gonna buy that bart simpson but and that even that uh charlie brown but i wanted to buy two so i could so i couldn't get the bart simpson one great art right here my plastic toy and the artist was also there that's a classic right there but not my style a lot of these uh the my plastic uh heart or my plastic toy wasn't even my style dead zebra right here here we have some toys some art and there's the heart right there the classic moving on to another boot oh no good stuff that was a great poster right there or a poster set oh the kit kat I was absolutely amazed by that. That that cracked me up. Kano Kid, he actually autographed my toy. There it is. There's the autograph. Dragon King, and I bought one of his art. Absolutely amazing. And there's the 22 inch Dragon King right there, Bruce Lee style. Oh, there's the Voltron. That was absolutely amazing. Of course. You know, I think at this time they were just setting this up. Yeah, I went here and they were just setting it up. And here we have another boot right here. Absolutely amazing right there. Kathy Davis. I'm telling you, man, those were creepy when I saw that. Absolutely creepy. <laughs> Macabre Shop by Madame. Great stuff. Great wall decorations if you're into that. And just moving on and here we have some the arbory emily sculpts and miss monster and they had a lot of sculpture pieces they even have pieces using moss they have some exclusive these are all custom pieces that's why the price range is very high and i love them you got the pigeons right there or maybe ravens actually and you got some wall decorations right there and you got the amuse x gonzo collaboration with all the plushies a lot of people were here people love plushies and here we have mighty jacks i was buying one of those bigger micro in red i don't know i already have a bigger micro atom anatomic something held me back 
everything in the glass case that was absolutely amazing but that's all they had my i was absolutely disappointed by their boot i mean that's all they had was in the glass case come on mighty jacks you gotta upgrade your boot game or something for the kids but i was surprised i was surprised by this right here furic oh furic i'm sorry i'm furic and here we have some glow uh blown pieces absolutely amazing by corner 12 i was absolutely amazed start from star wars from the course from kano kids from different types of designer urban toys and here we have the blown dunny right here absolutely amazing those things cost a couple thousand dollars and here we have another sculpture right there urban art that's how it's supposed to be urban vinyl toys designer art toys for those who appreciate it there's the uh, astro boy right there uh boba fett and here we have another boot right here selling great stuff and i'm sure you know who this is shane de Seuss. got some good stuff right here with the frog squibbles ink and rotafugi man i'm always mesmerized by their stuff there's the marshmallows, different uh, items. There's the big one right there. There's the ice cream and Johnny Cupcakes bringing on the truck, bringing on, serving you with different merchandises for our designer con. And this is amazing right here. Interior furnitures, couches in the luxury style. Look at that. Those bears are feeling comfortable. I wish I was that comfortable during the show. Because all I was doing was recording. But this boot had some great stuff actually. They were coordinated. That's for sure. Todd Land and Todd Land for Bob Burgers. Check this boot out. This is what I'm saying. Bob Burgers. There's the Chef Cat. There's the different Bob Burgers figurines. You got the Chef right there. You got the t-shirts in the Bob Burgers boot. Design style. Like fast food restaurant amazing and here we have some robots right here these were great i mean i forgot the boots name but these robots were great custom very colorful very detailed i mean i can go on and on about this boot and here we have some good poppy stuff the firehead designs from art from vinyl toys from customs man i can go on this boot has some great stuff a lot of boot had some great stuff actually. Oh, Mark Dean Becker. You saw that lamp right there? The, here is the magma. There's that dog house. You can actually buy that. There's the white right there. That's the one that lights up. They call it the boogeyman. And I was actually talking to him. So that was great. Shake his hand. They were selling prints right here. Mill house. No one likes them. I'm not sure why they even printed it. But whatever. And that uh, antimony right here. That's some great figurines and some posters. Man, I'm telling you, <laughs> this show was big. It took me a while just to absorb everything in. And here we have Toy Tokyo, I think. I'm not sure if this was Toy Tokyo. I have to see in this video. But they got some course. They got some cause. They got some uh, Sufubi, Paul Kaiju. Yeah, it was Toy Tokyo. So they were selling that bait gold that I wanted, but it cost $185. That was a Megatron bait. Crazy. Oh, this boot has some crazy stuff right here. Absolutely amazing. I was in awe by their boot. Look at this amazing as you know that's the super saiyan i mean that's vegeta right there and i don't know who the other one is that could be bebop or rock steady that was an absolutely great figurine i wanted it but i wasn't even sure if it was for sale because at this time i was going rounds absolutely amazing look at that elephant right there vintage vinyl is what the company's called studs check it out Inspired by Kill Bill, inspired by Gundam, inspired by other robots. There's that Kill Bill figurine, absolutely amazing. 
I was in awe by that. They were just chilling over there. Violins, toy, the robotic, artwork. Looks, uh, there's that policeman. You got the zombie figurines. Di different types of figures right there. The skull heads. I was trying to take a video of that, but there was a lot of people. Oh, that creeps me out. I'm telling you, that that thing is creepy. <laughs> now, we're going to the third exhibition hall right here. This is getting bigger and bigger. Designer Con 2017. So, here we are. Next to the boot. Absolutely great boot right here. Look at that. Custom made. By uh, vinyl land, res vinyl land and resins. Look at that kitty Voltron. <laughs> that that was the exclusive right over there. Paul Frank, this was a big boot. This was the biggest boot in that exhibition hall. There's the Paul Frank uh, figures right there. You got the merchandise. You got the artwork. You got the prints. You got bags. I can go on and on about the boot. There's the mon uh, monthly creations, the monsters right here, different types of colors. Here I am going around just to make sure I record everything as much as I can for you guys who never been in Designer Con 2017. Hopefully you like it. Absolutely amazing. Look at those details. Pigeon boot absolutely creepy but if i know people who are into this stuff i'm telling you yes even though it's creepy but it is absolutely beautiful you gotta hand it to them here we have dj qbert always in designer con people were you know there were crowds as you can tell here we have that boo was just selling posters and here i am just going around you know just to see what's going on from different booths absolutely amazing right here the batman the skull uh the helmets the figures here we have iron head studios there's the thanos can't wait for that movie to come out they were they're actually doing a sets a custom sets for movies for uh move movie companies and here we have from the inside when you came in when you come in this is what actually what it looks like so I'm just doing uh, another recording of this so just so you know and that line over there is to where you pick up your badge and here we have in digital prints because this is me going um, second round to buy stuff and I felt like an art gallery right here so that's basically it so like I said that is basically it for designer con 2017 as you can tell I put a propaganda Ron English Ronald McDonald figure because that is the outside the entrance of designer con 2017 absolutely amazing took a couple of pictures of that so here is my rant so next year designer con 2017 will be at Anaheim I'm not happy about it because going to Anaheim you have to compete with people in the freeway and in the parking lot going to Disneyland not only that the parking is not as cheap as Pasadena because the parking in the parking structure is all days only nine dollars in Anaheim Convention Center it's more than that not only that I have to drive over there and again there's only a few ways to get into Pasadena Convention Center I mean Anaheim Convention Center and they're basically doing what WonderCon is doing and um, Disney Con so I'm not really about about that and so another rant I have is that the lines 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 I cannot believe how long the line was when entering they were only letting a couple uh, group in here and there but man are you kidding me people who bought tickets at the front were able to get in much quicker than the people who bought their tickets online that absolutely drove me crazy I I waited in line for an hour and as you can tell from the beginning of the video it goes around and around and around I mean they got to do something about that there there are better ways of 
managing lines. But those are the two that basically is my rant. Um, hopefully uh, you enjoyed this video. And that's, I mean, there were more boots that I showed in the video. I guess you can say that I only showed what, what I was interested in or I found interesting and I found great. And so that is basically for DesignerCon 2017. I mean, later on, please watch my DesignerCon haul. And so I will see you in the next video here at Yellow Toy. Bye-bye.